Okay, so we've been looking at GDP and how to measure it. We saw there was an income and an expenditure approach. And here we have a video uh, that describes the difference between the two, but I'm going to leave it up to you to watch in your own spare time. In this video, we're going to be talking about the difference between real GDP and nominal GDP. So, to start off with making it quite simple, nominal GDP is GDP measured at current prices, whereas real GDP is GDP measured at constant prices. What does that mean? Well, we're saying that nominal GDP is, remember that GDP is of course a monetary measure, right? so it's measured in terms of the value of a currency. So, when we're talking about nominal GDP, we're saying that that's GDP based on the prices that prevailed in the year that the output was actually produced. So if the output was produced in 2012, then we say, right, what was the value of that output in 2012? Whereas real value, we're saying that the GDP has been, well, we calculate real value once we've deflated that nominal value or inflated it to reflect changes in the price level. In other words, if prices have increased between the year 2000 and the year 2012, 12, right, we've had inflation, then what we're saying is that the value of the output in 2012, that monetary value, is going to be different to that monetary value in 2000, even if, this, even if the same amount of output was produced in both years, the value in 2012 will be more, simply because it's worth more in monetary terms because of inflation. So what we want to say is, well, how do we then compare the output in 2012 to the output in 2000. Well, what we have to do is we have to take that output in 2012 and we have to adjust it for inflation. Okay, so essentially real GDP we're saying what would the value of goods and services produced this year be, or in the year 2012 say, if we valued these goods and services at the prices that prevailed in some specific base year. In other words, what would the value of 2012 output be in 2000, right? Let's look at an example. And here we have Uncle Chris giving us a blackboard example of adjusting for inflation. Now that you've looked at real GDP and nominal GDP, we're just going to do a simple example to illustrate this. You're given an example in the years 97, 98, 99. This was your nominal GDP. So this was the GDP at current prices. So that's how much you produced and what you sold at the price that prevailed at the time for each year. As you can see, this increased quite dramatically. So don't get the illusion that that says there was a lot of economic growth. You work out a separate price index. This is according to a basket of goods and you work out the value of this basket of goods at every year and you base it at one of the years being equal to 100. So the year where it's equal to 100, this is the base year. Now to work out your real GDP, you have to take your nominal GDP and divide by the price index. And this is also known as the GDP deflator. So to work out your real GDP, you take nominal GDP, divide by 93, and you get an answer of 365.6. And then you do the same, 375 divided by 100 is 375. And then 425 divided by 109 is 389.9. So this gives you the actual increase in production over those years, whereas this gives you the increase in the value of the production. So this is far more important. You've got to see what the actual value of the real GDP is. And from here, you can take percentage changes of the real GDP to work out your actual growth rate in the economy. So to get your percentage change, you would just take new minus old divided by old would give you the times 100 would give you the percentage change from 98 to 99. You, should know, you guys should know how to do that. An interesting factor here is, what is this price index indicating? Well, it's taking the actual value of those basket of goods. You can work out inflation from here just by taking the percentage change from one value to the other. So the percentage change inflation from 97 to 98 will be 100 minus 93 over 93 times by 100. And that'll give you your inflation. Okay, so that was an excerpt from some video lecturing that we did in the past. And Chris was the presenter. And I'm going to be referring back to some of that material, uh, probably pretty frequently. Um, but that brings us to our final lecture video about GDP.